Now, the line is just one part of Saudi Arabia's controversial $500 billion Neo Megacity project. For one, the so-called virgin land that the government is building Neom on is, unsurprisingly, not all that virgin. It is the ancestral and current home of many people, including members of the Hawatat tribe who are being forced from their homes for what many see as a vanity project that won't amount to much in reality. As you know, the line is a part of the controversial project Neom. In addition to that, this is a gift to Saudi Arabia from Antichrist Dajjal, as well as economic prosperity to Saudi Arabia, to being recognized Antichrist and his state as a friends and allies. Saudi Arabia has unveiled the design for its urban project, The Line, as a one building city in the desert, which will stretch over 106 miles and ultimately house of 9 million people. This is all about zero carbon, which is the future plan of Antichrist the Jal. That's why they reinvented the electric technology 100 years later. People don't need money in the zero carbon world. They replace the word money to carbon. That means they will counting on you how much carbon you have and you cannot travel the whole world. Not now in the future. You can travel according to the will of Antichrist the Jal, meaning they control the individual travel plan. And finally, Israel will be connected with the line, although they are behind it from the beginning. Take a look. Now the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has revealed grandiose renders of what the city will look like to match the grandiose plans. In January of 2021, Saudi Arabia announced plans for its own futuristic city called The Line. Instead of communities sprawling outward from a central location, they would be built vertically and arranged, well, in a line, hence the name. Even though the vision for the city stretches 170 kilometers, it would do away with cars entirely and instead be connected by high-speed rail that would travel the entire length in just 20 minutes. And each individual community would be largely self-contained so that almost anything you could need, be it a school, a doctor, or a quick meal, would be only a five-minute walk away. The government says the line will run on 100% clean energy and make extensive use of sensors and AI to manage the city's services. And all of this is supposed to be nestled in the pristine natural landscape of the Tabuk province with minimal impact on the environment. The line is envisioned as a giant glass and mirrored wall 170 kilometers long, 200 meters wide, and 500 meters tall. That's taller than the Empire State Building. It would have greenery stretching along the top, an open-air ventilation system to help maintain an ideal climate year-round, and it would house up to 9 million people. Now, even if Neom is eventually built and lives up to its lofty promises, there will still be plenty of more cause for concern. The line is expected to be loaded with countless sensors, cameras, and facial recognition technology that, in such a confined space, could push government surveillance to almost unthinkable levels. In addition to that, those who are against this project, or the Saudi government, or who did not give off their homeland, they are arrested by Saudi security force and also arrested, or some of them was killed by Saudi government. Finally, the line will be connected with the Neom city. The question is, what is the Neom all about then? Take a look on it. a city called Neom. We are creating a place where prosperity can be gained through creating a new future there. So on the technological side, a lot of people look at it and say, we can try certain things out. And we can try it out uh, without being held back by existing infrastructure, plus being allowed um, new types of legislation. 
So we have full legislative authority and we've been asked by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, write this legislation in the most investor-friendly way and in the most future-oriented way. Neum is derived from the Latin Arabic word Neo Mustakbal or new future. Saudi Arabia believes that future must be shared. NEOM project will extend to neighboring Arab countries like Jordan and Egypt. And the city will have its own constitution to free it from the Saudi known conservativeness. And that is to attract citizens of the whole world.